Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome to another Bitcoin technical analysis where what a day we have today, Bitcoin finally reaching 7,000, uh, you know, what a, what a crazy few weeks it has been, honestly, trading Bitcoin here. And uh, yeah, today I hope that you enjoy this technical analysis and I'm going to be starting reviewing the parallel channel that I obviously posted last night for you all on uh, Twitter. Okay, so this was around 12 hours ago where we were just looking at this parallel channel and obviously you want to be trading the breaks. Okay, so now let's review in a little bit more detail what's actually happening happened here okay so you can see how we were trading from the high of the parallel back down to the bottom okay when you then go up to the top you back down to the bottom and you finally break out of this parallel this was a parallel channel this is obviously on the five minute time frame i'm reviewing it here for you and we were actually inside this for about two days if i'm not mistaken okay yeah two days two hours we were within this parallel channel for two days two hours making continuous even on the five minute here higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and then going on to your higher highs okay but obviously we're more in concern with the higher highs and higher lows on the macro okay the macro time frame is what we're concentrating on that one but obviously this parallel channel just highlights very well how you're obviously up sloping very nicely okay but the break was really important and it also coincided with volume shortly after okay so we did have the volume shortly flow but you break from the parallel channel the old resistance of the parallel channel broken back tested as support okay so you break up you back test it as support and then you run up to 7000 okay brilliant isn't it brilliant 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 look at the look at the spikes in volume here the really really high spikes in volume that coincide with breaking upwards okay so that's very healthy very nice okay and I want to just show you, obviously, on the one hour time frame, how we hit 7,000. We come back down to our A exponential moving average here and we've had another leg back up. OK, you obviously are now reaching this mightily FOMO zone. I'm sure uh, many sort of newer traders are feeling the FOMO right now. And some of the money is actually trickling into alts very nicely. There's been some nice alt trades today. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I just want to show you all like what happened and like the times that you really should of being switching, you know, to looking for long positions. Let's just review for you, for you all a second and what we have going on here. OK, so obviously throughout 2018, the market was just forming the lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower high, lower low. OK, and then this was the turning point in the market, OK, from when I was switching from bearish to bullish. Obviously, we formed our low. We then formed a high. We then formed a higher low. But that doesn't really mean anything yet. It was this point right here that we broke through 4000. Let's just say 4250. That was the turning point that we made this massive move up. OK, because prior to this, we could have just formed a low, a high, a higher, a higher low, come up to here and fell back down. OK. We hadn't formed another higher high, but then we got the low, the high, the higher low and a higher high. This was a break in market structure from a downtrend to an uptrend on the daily time frame here. So a big, important macro time frame. You've broken market structure with the higher highs and higher lows. And what have we done since then? OK, since then, we've obviously formed our low, high, higher, low. We have then just formed higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low. And now another higher high. OK, that's extremely bullish market structure right there. And, and really the time that you should have been looking uh, to stop looking so bearishly was breaking this and making a higher high on the macro term time frame. OK, and then we've just been holding these higher lows continuously for the past uh, you know month now. OK, so really, really, really bullish market structure. And as I mentioned in yesterday's video, that coincides with this ultra bullish market structure. Just imagine when you see ultra bullish market structure, what do you want to do? You want to long. OK, you want to be in a long position. OK, as mentioned in yesterday's video, uh, what has been coinciding very nicely with this is that longs are receiving funding. Still, you have been paid. BitMEX is paying you to hold a long position. Why? 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 Why would you want to continuously be trying to short these highs while well, you can be paid to hold a long? Um and gain free money from bullish market structure. It really is kind of, I just find it so crazy, the amount of perma bears that have been wanting to short every single movement up. It has been absolutely crazy, while you've also been having to pay to be in that short and you're trading against the market. Absolutely unbelievable. Obviously, this funding is starting to come down a bit now. This is almost halved uh, since the last 12, the last eight hour payment. So, um, yeah, the funding is coming down and that's when I think we can start to look at our retracements. But definitely the funding has been favoring the bulls 100 percent. We have been getting paid to be in long positions. It's just not it just doesn't make sense to be looking for shorts in that sort of situation when the market's looking so bullish as well. OK, 
So that's what I just wanted to highlight to you all uh, with that bullish market structure and how you need to be aware of what was going on with the funding on, on BitMEX. It's a very important metric to be aware of. Obviously, we now we are reaching extreme greed in the market. This generally equals we're going to be pulling back soon. Uh, just another metric to be looking at. Um, you know, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. Works every single time. And we obviously are now reaching extreme greed. Hence, you should be a little bit fearful of what's to come. OK, if you are uh, looking for this longs, uh, obviously, though, we are still, yeah, without a doubt, we are still making those higher highs and higher lows on the macro. But we are, you know, really, really, really are reaching a high area of resistance. But we have been reaching high areas of resistances all the way up and we've just continued to move up. OK, really, that 6000 level high area of resistance. What did we do? We blasted through it. We had 6200 blasted right through it. We had 6800. We wicked through it. So now we're obviously seeing the, you know, one of the biggest pullbacks that we've seen so far with the with that about 5% movement today. Okay, so that was a nice position if you got in on the scope, but then just as nice really on the long from it, uh, obviously, when we were looking at our exponential moving averages. Um, so that's that's really what I'm looking at now to see how these moving averages, they're obviously going to be catching up over the day. You can just see how price has been really well supporting. Okay really well supported by the uh, EMAs here. So they they are crucial supports, but really on the macro, you want to be looking at the, at the higher lows and higher highs. Uh, that is for me really, really crucial. And yeah, you can definitely be looking for some sort of starting to get into or to either build a short position from here slowly as the funding is coming down. Remember, we want to be aware of what the funding is going on when we're accumulating positions. OK, so be aware of the funding. And uh, yeah, this is this is a in in some ways a good time to be hedging into shorts. But you do want to obviously be careful. We are in a bullish market structure. Uh, but without a doubt, somebody has to take the uh, first opportunity to go into these big shorts and, and bring the market co to consolidation or people taking profits. Uh, but at the same time, personally, I would prefer somebody else to take this position right now and and start off the uh, start off of those shorts. And then we will come in when the higher low market structure is broken. OK, on this sort of four hour daily time frame that is a much safer short to be taking um but yeah with it, without a doubt you should be taking profits uh slash hedging your position at the very least okay with what's going on here you see the massive uptick in volume that we actually saw on this uh four hour candle right here this is could be known as like a blow off top uh but yeah the dip was obviously brought back up but you know this for me is we are reaching such high resistance and obviously when you you know go up parabolically and this last move especially is very parabolic rise uh generally you would expect this pullback to come and the pullback to be hard um so just be aware that you know we are reaching a level now where this is an extreme parabolic rise and uh obviously it's nice to see some of the money flowing into altcoins obviously today we had nice scopes on yeah eng right there litecoin very nice uh ontology extremely nice ontology oh my god um ontology then we obviously had litecoin let me show you ontology really quick this was a sport i've been watching for so long okay we so so long we touched it for the wick we touched it for the wick and we got that 15 percent rise okay absolutely perfect play right there and that's why i love that's why i've loved trade trading bitcoin uh, pairs because i've been holding bitcoin and obviously usd values just going up and up and up with holding bitcoin and i've been trading these btc pairs uh just accumulating more bitcoin right now well not, not so much i want to accumulate bitcoin but just it makes sense to trade bitcoin pairs for me right now with the way the market is um so yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, my thoughts on the market of, of how this is going to react and what you should be looking for right now. Keep your eyes on the EMAs, keep your eyes on the high-low structure. When this is broken, then obviously you can start either then looking for hedges or right now I would, you know, personally be looking for hedge positions um, because we are reaching a very parabolic rise, although there is the fuel potentially to get another wave up here, okay? And you can see where I'm looking at here, the next leg, if we do get another one up around 7,400 is our major major resistance um so that will be interesting if if we get that another leg up that's where i'd be my eyes would be drawn to next that next high right there okay for the macro really really big macro high okay so that's that's how i'm looking at this i will literally be sculpting this all day long i had plans and they were all cancelled because i want to make some more money trading this <laughs> so uh yeah that's what that's what comes first right now is trading this because you have to make use of these opportunities the, the opportunities like this do not come around often okay um and so when they do you full-on trade it aggressively um yeah basically yeah uh obviously look at that 7.6 percent in a day on bitcoin and you know absolutely crazy we're now up over 100 percent from the lows um yeah absolutely crazy life life changing money honestly and uh yeah i'm i'm expecting some of it to flow into altcoins over the next uh, few weeks okay so keep your eyes on the market caps and um 
altcoin market cap that is and bitcoin dominance and we can see how this plays out let's see if we do get this never leg up here uh, as the bullishness definitely continues but just be aware we are reaching these extreme levels uh, of fomo in the market okay so i'm going to end with that hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give me a like please give me uh, i'm very interested to know what my followers are doing right now are you entering into shorts at these levels are you just sat in your longs with your trading stop losses and just enjoying this right now so please let me know what you're up to uh very interested to know um obviously i've tried being trying to preach to you throughout the throughout the last month or so that the market structure has been bullish i can remember very well the video uh, when I was pointing all out to you, 4,920, what was it? 4,900 and Zach was like 4,923. That was it. Uh, I was saying, while this level holds, and this was obviously after the Bitfinex FUD, while that level holds, there's no reason to panic. And guess what? We held the level perfectly and we saw another, uh, from the, obviously that sell-off, another 30 you know 38 percent rise and I, I can remember that very well that was my sort of real big points right there of 4923 to hold while well, that holds there was no reason to panic from these uh fud sessions that we saw because market was holding the higher lows okay and uh yeah yeah very very nice basically and i hope some of you did manage to get in with me on those these moves honestly uh, and please yeah very interested to know how you've been trading this and what your plans are now for the next week to come on bitcoin and obviously the weekly close that we've got tomorrow night so I hope you've enjoyed this video and hope that you are killing it with the trades. Uh, so, yeah, hope you're all having a brilliant weekend, basically, and enjoy the time. I'm going to go off and trade this game now. So thank you, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs> Bye.